to a small cul-de-sac off of Niagara Street sits Squire's Tap Room. It's not very big, but it has a pretty sizable reputation when it comes to this. Their fish fry. Squire's was founded in 1995 by Rick and Lisa Neuhaus. After 25 years, I think we got the fish fries down pretty bad. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, honestly, I, I go <laughs> I go to a lot of different places, sure. Uh -huh. But I mean, you know, we're up there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. While they have fish fries all year, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, they throw in Wednesday during Lent. And in the weeks leading up to Easter, Rick estimates they serve up to 200 pounds of fish in a good week. If you throw Good Friday in there, mm. uh, you know, it probably had another 25, 30 pounds of fish. What sets your fish fry apart from all the others? Our fish is skinless and boneless. And a lot of places don't serve skinless haddock. Um, and it comes down to we have just having a real consistent product. We are very consistent. All right then, well, I just had to try this very consistent fish fry. I can't wait, this is amazing. Great. I know you're probably thinking, what are you waiting for? But you gotta Instagram it. Oh, that batter is fantastic. Crispy. You know, if I wasn't being filmed right now, I'd probably stick this whole piece in my mouth. Mmm. Crispy and light. This is definitely amazing. What's the secret? I mean, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Don't <laughs> want to tell anybody. I think we do a good job. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's like a science now. And you, it's, fish fries are busy, and during Latin in Buffalo, you know that? Yeah. What places are going to have, can, can handle that? And we've proven over and over again that we've been able to. So. I think that's what sets us apart too, is the staff. So, the secret ingredients to Squire's success is their nice. staff and the dedicated customers who keep coming back for more. Nothing proved that more than 2020. While it marked the taproom's silver anniversary, the pandemic nearly took them down. I would drive by and I wouldn't see cars in the parking lot and I knew what that meant. In an effort to save his parents' restaurant, Eric reached out to the Barstool Fund. The charity raises money and helps small businesses stay afloat. But in order to be considered for financial assistance, Squires had to prove their successful track record and that they had kept most of their employees on payroll during the pandemic, which they did. And not only did they get the funding, but a huge swell of support from customers. To see the response and to see them come back, you know, has is, is been awesome. We wouldn't be here without them. Tremendous respect for all my customers. They're, they've really been great throughout the years. 25 years. When Squires opened, it was named after Rick's grandfather, a World War I vet, and a lifelong Tonawanda resident. Well, he would be very proud, I'm sure. And why would you say that? Because um, it's a local restaurant. We've been told it's the uh, cheers of Tonawanda. If you walk <laughs> in here, somebody's going to know. You're always going to know somebody when you walk in here. So now when I walk in, you're going to say, oh, look, That's there's Emily. <laughs> Exactly. That's what's going to happen. That's awesome. <laughs> She's going to get the fish fry. <laughs> well, they invited me back and I cannot wait to take my family. The fish fry was really delicious. So were the sides. Thank you to Rick and his family for a great story, too. You can find Squire's Tap Room in Tonawanda. Of course, the address and website are right there on the screen.